Hey guys, welcome to the new video. This is Max from Server 133. So what an amazing day we have got uh, this new event which is uh, very similar to one of the past events that was Plantagen and Dynasty. However, this one is similar but a bit different. I'll tell you what are the similarities and I'll tell you the difference. And trust me, this is going to be in your favor. So this is the ninja technique of Evany to make people coin to get a premium general. But I really like it that they are giving away a premium general for just $5. I have bought the $5 pack. You may want to buy the $15 pack, sorry, the $20 pack if you're not as active as I am. So I'll tell you what all activities are there and how is this event different from the previous one. So all the quests, all the tasks are 100% same. There is no difference. And if there is any difference, then pardon me for the uh, incorrect information. But you can see that updated task or the new task and it's super easy so in the previous version it was a set of tasks would be made available and after a span of seven days or 15 days the new task would unlock and the event was for a longer period however this one is for a pretty short time only for the nine days or ten days span and right now as you're watching this video it is just eight days 17 hours left what they have made it much better than the past is that they have got all the events lined up in one single uh, day that is the day one itself and you can start completing it as you progress so in this video i'm going to give you some tips of how you can quickly complete these and get the rewards as early as possible at the same time you can also do this to benefit your other events so let's talk about it so the first part is gathering then there is alliance and then there is ambition so gathering, I'll tell you the events, how to complete. So the first page itself shows 60 million resource. You can gather it from the city. If you have got Queen Jin the Ox and Korean culture, this is going to happen on the day one itself without a stress. Let's not talk even day one. This is going to happen in the first few hours itself. The next we have got cultivate general. This you can do to also achieve your King's Path event. Sorry, gather troop event. In the gather troops event, you have this uh, cultivate general for thousand times so you can cultivate all the generals as many times you like and both of them will count uh, sorry and the rewards or the scoring will count for both the events moving further you have got refine equipment for total 230 times this is it yeah now there is this one event in the king's path that tells you to refine any equipment for 100 times so this you can cheat is by simply just refining a cheap equipment and when I'm saying cheap equipment I'm talking about these blue gears refining them is just gonna cost you one refining stone and some gold so if you have to refine it for hundred times for there and a couple of times from here it's gonna be super cheap just hundred refining stones you can spend that not a big deal Actually, it's not 100. Pardon me. It's more than that. It's 230 times. But then, you know, it is relatable because uh, that event is going to ask you to refine for 100 times. After that, moving forward, we have got produce and claim resources in the city. Oh, this is already done. I didn't even realize. So this is something which is easy if you have your in-city tiles of a good level and if you have got, uh, uh, what do we say, a lot of research done on your account on the advancement. This thing should happen on the day one itself. In fact, if you don't claim it, if you haven't claimed it before, uh, seven, eight hours before the reset, some of you should be fortunate enough to get this instantly done in the very first claiming. I could do that, I guess, because my key produces 1.5 uh, million each every minute, every hour. So that's uh, 12 hours. You can do the maths. Next is use the offer feature in shrine for 100 times. This is something which is again going to pop up in the King's Path event. And uh, if you are able to get tributes easily, you can offer it. Or you may also buy the tribute from the Alliance shop if you are super active. If you are saving those for VIP points, then you may go to the relic and get the tribute from there. There's one more thing as the gather troop, as the King's Path event progresses. You will have the option to do the black market for a good number of times. Even in the black market, you will get tributes for a good amount of time. So these are all relatable for you. 
moving further so we looked into the cultivate general we looked into the refine equipment produce and claim resources and offer next in the alliance category we have participate in alliance war so if you are not able to pull this off right now for a person like me who is hunting for the general abdul al rahman on the relics queen jin the ox don't give you bonus on the relics let's face it it gives you only bonus in the normal tiles so if you are hunting for this uh, general abdul al rahman and focusing on the uh, relics that's okay after few days the king's path event will have the option to join alliance war combine the task together do it together both of them will score together and if you are in an active alliance 160 boss rallies is easy like psh, done no challenge moving down donate in alliance for 10 times this happens automatically if you are regularly active in 3 to 4 days without even spending gems you can do that i completed in 1 and 1/2 days forget about spending gems i was just actively donating in the alliance science help speed up alliance members times timers by or for 10 times for 30 times 100 times again this thing is auto if you just keep fidgeting here over and over again you're going to help people to achieve their task keep doing that next what we have here in the alliance category again we have black market so i told you right you can black market and it will fetch you the uh, gems and not the gems i'm sorry the tributes for offering in shrine so you can do that also a lot of people offer in the shrine easily for 100 times at least they offer for 20 times because they get those attack defense and hp buffs uh, for the battlefield or during the svs so they offer frequently i offer too during the svs also it increases your prestige and if you want to make the best use of this 200 offering sorry of this uh 100 offering which you have here the best use would be changing your culture to arabia that's going to cost you 2000 gems and changing your talent over here that's going to cost you 2000 gems if you don't have the setup done for those who have the setup congratulations for those who don't have you might want to invest 2000 gems the reason you would do that is so that it gives you more rewards also it increases your rank ranking the better the rank ranking the more the subsidy slots i am hit, trying to hit the top 10 on my server which is pretty impossible because the guy sitting on the rank 10 is very very high almost 20% more than me so covering that up is going to take for him to not just him but the rest 20 people who are ahead of me to go slow and me to spend a huge amount of tributes every day let's come back from it to the task or quest that we have after that we have got consuming stamina 2400 stamina this is pretty easy you would do this if you are active for just one day of boss rallies again there is the same relatable task in the king's path event where you have to spend 5000 stamina people do that if they are active for the for a span of 2 days ambition now this is where the game goes tricky first one is train 70000 troops 150000 troops 300000 troops now this is again related to the king's path event and the gather troop event in the gather troops event you don't have to train troops but you have the task of training speed ups right and related to that you also have a task of training 500000 of each type for t13 or t14 but that is an expensive deal t13 is going to cost you 7.5 billion each t14 is going to cost you around 11.5 or 10.5 billion each for 500000 each so if you have that sort of resources then you are super rich then you can go for the gather troop and the king's path together or else just simply train t1 troops 300000 t1 troops are peanuts easy to train anybody can do it moving down we have heal troops heal 80000 troops heal 30000 troops so this can be achieved again very easily just go and splat 1 million t1 troops on a boss monster level uh, 10 or above no general just 1 million t1 troops go hit them 
you will not be able to beat the boss monster you will lose that stamina but you will get the wounded and heal them when you complete your task moving down you have to revive one uh, fifteen thousand troop souls in the holy palace thirty thousand troop souls in the holy palace eighty thousand troop souls in the holy palace this is something which is going to be a bit difficult but i'll tell you the trick to that as well so again you need to have one million t1 troops find any unbubbled keep go splat on it you lose your attack your troops get killed and the troops that are getting killed will be divided into two numbers survival uh, sorry killed permanently and the holy palace troop souls so if you have a good recovery research you should be able to do this very easily recall deserters so this is recall 100 de thousand deserters so if you're splatting somebody with 1 million t1 troops and if you lose the attack of course the ones that are killed and deserters they get into the holy palace and you will get the option to revive them and this will do the trick very easily Next is increase power by 70 million. Okay, this is pretty difficult for those who are not of a higher keep. For those who are on a good keep level like uh, 30 to 33 and on, you can simply increase the power by training a couple of troops. Again, if you want to uh, complete the gather troop event which also has increased the power by 100 million, this is the right time to do so. You can increase power while you do both the events together. And last is splunder 18 million resources from other players. Okay guys, for this, if you are not a PvP guy, just speak to a friend on the other alliance. Let them know that you want to hit and steal 18 million of their resources. You can do that. The reason I'm saying this because there are a lot of servers that have a nap where they don't hit anybody. And people, those who don't have alts, they coin. And those who don't coin, they have a lot of alts. And as there is nap, nobody is scared of losing bubble. They only bubble up during SVS. Some of them even don't log into their alts. They just keep in-city resource production, which is something I really hate about. Having an alt is something which is against the rules, but if you're doing it and not getting caught, nobody cares about it. And sincerely, people uh, have so many alts sometimes that you can't even realize which one is the main, which one is the alt. In fact, there was this one person I was friends with for a very long time who was an alt. And I didn't even realize it till I actually saw the main and the alt drop their bubble together and get bubbled up together for a couple of times during the nap. And that was fun <laughs> to catch somebody. But still, we didn't really bother about him because the alt was not bothering us and even the main was not bothering us. So we are okay with that. So coming back to this. Plunder 18 million from somebody, have a nice chat. Can I hit you and steal 18 million of your resources? If it's a big keep, it's gonna be difficult. If it's a small keep, do that. And much easy thing for you to do is, you will see a lot of dead keeps on your server, the big keeps. They produce resources. Go hit them and plunder it from them. Your job is done. Now coming to the very most important part, should you coin or not? Absolutely yes. Coin for it because when you coin $5, just buy a package, you get the gems. You get the resources and then you get the source of life you get stamina speed ups and all you're getting exact same thing in the right side too however you're also getting something which is awesome which is a premium gender from the europe culture they have six to seven options i don't know which one i'm yet to unlock it but they have some six to seven options you get one of those so i think it's a good deal go for it if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. You can jump into my Discord channel. I am going to give you the uh, link to it in the description. I've got one hour truce left. I'm going to go hit two, three cities and plunder and do the resource plundering task. So with this, I conclude the video. If there's anything that I can help you with, you're welcome on the Discord channel. And I will see you next time. This is Max from Server 133 signing out.